Hey guys, this is going to be a brand new series of tutorials and demo videos of FMOD. And basically FMOD is an interactive audio engine that usually runs as middleware, audio middleware, in video game engines. Alright, so let's get started here with this track. This track is called Artemis. Um, it was for a game called Artemis, and it's an exploration stealth action game, kind of similar to Metal Gear Solid, but there's more exploration involved. So let's go ahead and just open the music assets that I have. So let's see what we have. We have um, this sort of ambient loop. And that's something that kind of plays on really um, just exploration-based levels and sort of um, when nothing is really going on. Most of the time, we're just going to be using the ones with an actual drum beat, and I'll show you that later. But let's keep listening to these. This is the first um, level of intensity where pretty much you're just exploring and there are enemies around and you're allowed to use your weapons. And I'm going to jump around here a little bit. And you notice they're kind of the same textures, same instruments as before. And this, this style of music is a little bit on the ambient side. And it was sort of to match the aesthetic of the game. So this is the second um, level of intensity, which actually is the encounter. So when you're actually fighting enemies, this is what it's going to transition to. So it's a little bit more intense but not too intense yet. And moving on to the last and final one, this is the high risk track and this is when you are fighting a really intense enemy, maybe like a mid-level boss or maybe the actual boss or you're doing, you know, a really difficult part in your quest. So as you can already notice, the music is similar, they're all really similar, and they work really well together, transitioning from one to another. And the idea is in video game music, you don't want things to sound really abrupt, and you don't want the player to really notice. You want it to be part of the immersion when you're playing the game. So the first technique here I have is um, your crossfading layers sort of technique. And so what I have here is a knob that crossfades between different tracks. It, I labeled this as intensity, so this is something the game would control. Now, if we look here before we actually start playing this, here's the automation of the volume. So let's see what happens. When you look at this knob, when it's all the way down, it's playing the ambient track. And then as you move forward in intensity level, it fades that out and fades in the exploration one. And you can keep going, it fades that out and goes to the encounter and fades that one out and goes to high risk when it's closer all the way to the end. And the thing about this is that all these tracks blend really well together because of the ambient aspect of it and at any point in time these tracks are actually playing over on top of each other but you're only realistically hearing one track. So let's play with this a little bit. And let's turn it up in a little bit. Turn up the intensity. So as you can see, the ambient track has stopped altogether because it faded that one out completely. And we can keep going. Let's say we're finding something. And then let's move it back down. And then now let's try going to the high risk.
And that is your basic layers um, technique in F mod for this track, Artemis. And now let's look at something else. Um, this doesn't work as well, but this is something that's somewhat common. Um, first, you want to take notice that I set the tempo here because we're actually going to be using tempo. And what we have here are transition markers, uh, transition region markers. And basically, when I move this knob here, this is telling it to go to the encounter when it reaches this here in the transition transition knob that I named it transition when it goes to this part it's going to jump to the encounter and I have it set here because um, going back to the tempo I have a tempo here because it's set to jump to that on the half note instead of if I set this to off it's just gonna jump right away but we want to make it more um, more immersive less abrupt so this sounds more natural because there's an actual beat here it's going to make it less abrupt, but the ambience kind of makes it sort of noticeable. But this is just a basic technique, and this kind of drum beat sort of saves it from being really abrupt. So let's see what this sounds like. Sorry, let's go back. Now we're going to jump to the encounter. And then let's jump right back. And let's do that again one more time. And then let's see if we can go to the high risk. And then this here, we can go back to the exploration one. It's a little bit more abrupt than the crossfade, which is the actual, um, the uh, sorry, the crossfading layers here. This is what we actually use in the game. Um, it's a lot better than this one because the ambience sort of reverberates and needs to tail off and when it jumps from one track to another you don't actually hear the reverb tail go off from the previous track it just jumps straight to the other one and it might not be in that particular track alright guys that's it for this demo stay tuned for the tutorial video which will be in the link of the description or you can click um, on the annotation on the video thanks for watching